if you take a look here, you can yeah, see. Yeah, look at the floor. You, know, you have a light or no? No. It's like definite water damage right there. Look at that. Yep. Makes me a little more worried though because that tells me that there could be a leak in this. Mm -hmm. Over here all together, if this whole area is like that, it feels, it goes right to here. Yeah. It stops. Right? So the previous owners used to put a washer and dryer here, but this is also actually a closet. And then this back room, I think, actually looks Careful, really, there's a web right there in your face. It looks really decent. Um, I don't think there's anything that needs to be done here, except for paint. We're gonna yeah. paint the walls. Look at that wind. See, we have like really crazy winds out here. And I think it's starting already. Let's see how everything holds up. Uh, mostly a concern about the trampoline. We don't want to utilize brand new pieces. We want to try and take from our other projects that we still have as leftovers and make use of it. We have about a thousand dollars invested in this already. And so going forward, we want to spend as little as possible, which means that we're going to be using scrap pieces that actually are really nice. I mean, look at this big boy. So we're going to be cutting this to size. This will take up about half of it, I guess about here. And as you can see, we have a much thicker piece over here, a long one. We'll be able to cut that to size. First things first, let's get to work on this. That can just be used for anywhere you need a little step. Cool. Yeah, that's gonna be too much. Oh, very close, yeah. So as of right now, we're gonna have to either we're gonna have to for sure move the toilet because it's all around the toilet. Uh, we're probably gonna have to move the tub, which is gonna be the hardest part. Or at least we have to lift it up, get it clean under it, and put it back down. Which again is not gonna be fun because it's already obviously in. That's gonna be the one part. It's gonna really suck. So yeah, it's also as black mold, so we need to be very careful about it. We need to be in here limited. I already opened the window over there. Yeah, you're supposed to be wearing masks. Yes, I'm aware. Are you okay? I've been hustling, putting over time every day. Hustling, putting over time every day. Yeah, hustling, I put in over Pull the toilet out. What I'm most concerned of here is how far this damage is gonna go. Is it gonna go under the tub or not? So we're gonna find out. Okay, so 
Uh, let's see. Um, this is messy. I mean, every time I'm getting down here, there's just, I'll show you right now, there's just bugs on bugs coming out of this thing anywhere I go. Uh, I don't know if you can see this, there's, there's just bugs everywhere. We have our second coat going up on here in our drywall on the ceiling. A lot of progress was made today on what really needed to happen. As you can see over here, we found where our water stops, which is really important, to where our wood is still okay. And then we can see where the wood is, obviously it has some damage to it and needs to be repaired. There you go. An option here, as you know, would be adding crown molding, but again, we just have some joint compound going all the way down it here to help seal off our lines. Next, we're gonna let this dry up really good and then we'll come back in, we'll sand her down, we'll get her painted and it'll look beautiful. The wind was so strong, you're about to see here that it unfortunately toppled uh, the manufactured home. I don't know what the damages are inside yet. Haven't even gone in it. Kind of scared to. Just because I know that it hit hard. 